Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly general reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Before we get into your reading, Gemini's, I want to apologize, obviously, for the quality here. As you guys can see, I'm actually recording on my laptop as I am currently charging my phone. And it just seems like one thing after the other, um, <laughs> I've been pulled towards not recording for some reason. And I am stubborn as all hell as a true Capricorn. So I was like, you know what, we're going to make this happen no matter what, as we are celebrating the 1st of May. So I definitely want to get these messages across to you guys as soon as possible. So no excuses. Here we go. I've already shuffled the cards for time purposes. So let's get right into your reading, Gemini's. So in regards to air, the element of air and communication, how you will be communicating with other people for the month of May 2018, you have the Nine of Wands. So the Nine of Wands is feeling very defensive, feeling like you basically have to watch your back or you've definitely been beat down and gone through many difficulties uh, in the past. And there is almost a feeling of, I need to protect myself for my own self and for my sanity, which is absolutely nothing wrong with that. Um, just try the best you can not to be so guarded because you may be rubbing people the wrong way, or you may be coming off as standoffish as you really don't care, even though you do care, but you're doing it because perhaps there's healing involved here, but nonetheless, try the best you can to be mindful about how you communicate. Cause you can't, you could come off as just pushing people away. And that's really not a good thing because sometimes people are going to be like, okay, um, you know, they're pushing me off this Gemini, uh, maybe a little bit, um, detached. So I'm not even going to bother them. So perhaps you're thinking that there's this feeling of thinking that perhaps people don't care for you, but it's not really that it's just that you're giving off that vibe that you don't care and people don't want to bother. So, or don't want to bother you. Um, so be mindful about that in regards to earth and your finances, uh, for the month of May, 2018, you have. You have the lover's card, Gemini. So the lover's card is definitely talking about having to make a choice. So for the month of May, there's going to be um, two options in regards to finances. Could be projects, could be actually uh, where you're currently working at and hearing about a new position or something like that. And you are just for the hell of it. Let me try this out. And they actually do call you back. And then you're put in a position where you have to make a choice. So that could go both ways. <laughs> For some of you guys, it could represent, uh, the lover's card could definitely represent um, having to make, um, like the feeling of being at crossroads in the present time or not being able to move forward or feeling stuck. And for the month of May, you're going to see things play out very, very quickly where you're going to be like, what the hell? Like first I felt there was some type of stuckness and now I'm actually having more than one opportunity or a choice to make. Uh, so that's definitely, I feel that it's a refreshed type of energy. So it's definitely movement in a positive aspect. In regards to your fire element, the challenge for the month of May to that, here we go, the page of wands. So the page of wands is totally the opposite of, uh, totally opposite of the nine of wands. So the challenge for you is going to be to actually be open and be vulnerable if it is necessary, you know? There's absolutely nothing wrong with asking people for help when it is needed. Uh, there's no shame in that. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. For some of you guys that have children, uh, they may be a challenge. Sorry, they may be a challenge for the month of uh, May. And I mean a challenge in the sense that they may be going through difficulties. They may be going through a rebellious type of a phase. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be that you're being challenged um, temper wise uh, with your children as well. So try the best you can to be patient uh, if you do have actually, um, you know, the lover's card is a Gemini energy. So for some of you guys, I feel that you're going to be pulled towards, um, making a decision in regards to your children, uh, what you may think is right and what you may think is wrong. And then being put in a position where it was acceptable for you to do certain things, but when they start to do those things, it's not acceptable. So, almost a feeling of, oh, damn, I can't really tell them not to do that because I did it myself or they're aware of that. So just be mindful of the type of image that you're giving to your children, because I feel that you're definitely going to be either questioned or challenged for the month of May um, with your children, something that has to do with children for sure. So for those of you guys that don't have children, um, again, with the uh, night, sorry, with the page of wands as a challenge, 
uh, your communication may be a challenge and it makes perfect sense with the nine of wands, uh, feeling like you're guarded, like you're not really wanting to communicate or be open with people. And definitely uh, the page of wands is a person that communicates back and forth. So that's going to be definitely a challenge for you for the month of May. Again, like I say, be mindful about um, there's nothing wrong with having retrospection and going within yourself and trying to find yourself again. Uh, but do it so in a way that is subtle. Um, try the best you can not to rub people. Uh, I wouldn't say the wrong way, but almost like, cause I feel, or for some reason, I feel like I'm offended because people are not asking me how I'm doing, but you've been giving on this persona or this type of image where you've been pushing people away. So now it's like when you're expecting for people to reach out to you, they're not really they're not really reaching out to you, but it's not because they don't care. It's more because you've made it very clear that you don't really want to communicate or you don't really want to connect with other people. So just be mindful about that. And with your water element emotions for the month of May 2018, you definitely have the Ace of Wands. So there's definitely new beginnings. I see that there's a lot of beginnings in regards to finances and business for you guys. I feel that this is more of a communication and business front type of reading for you guys. So definitely a lot of advancements uh, for those of you guys that have been without a job for quite a while. May is definitely going to bring new opportunities to you and you're definitely going to be hired on um, uh, perhaps on a more permanent type of basis. Um, I definitely do see expansion for you guys. So that's definitely a good thing. And finally, your spirit's message for the month of May 2018. You have the high priestess. So the high priestess as a spirit's advice is truly understand that there is things that perhaps you're not aware of, um, things that are perhaps hidden, hidden in the sense of whether you're spiritually inclined or not, um, know and understand that listening to your intuition is very important, uh, even in regards to partnerships or, um, you know, being guided, um, if you're getting counsel, if you are going to someone that is spiritually advanced, listen to that intuition because if your intuition is definitely telling you that they're not being completely honest or that they're keeping things from you, more than likely they probably are. And again, the high priestess definitely speaks about things that are hidden and we know about it. Our self or higher self is aware of it. And the only way to actually be certain about that is to tune into your intuition and listen to it. If you're being guided the opposite direction towards the direction that you're walking, an example, if you're going to make a left, but you feel uneasy about it, um, and for some reason you're being pulled towards the right, don't make the left or don't take the left because you've already promised or you've already committed yourself to making the left turn. Uh, because if you're being guided towards taking the right Sometimes it's necessary to listen to that little tug or that little pull because it's trying to guide you on your right path and ignoring it uh, is basically giving your power up and going or giving your power to someone that perhaps may be wanting um, to not fully uh, give you the clarity that is genuinely needed. So pay attention to that, Geminis, okay? Okay. So I wish you guys the very best. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment. If you have not subscribed, definitely subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys at the middle of the month. Bye.